So we're giving it a chance to improve. This is haiku, y'all. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Workbench. I am going to hop over to our notes. So down here at the bottom, I'm gonna use our, our, fun, our fun tool here, columns inside of Notion. We love our three columns. And we're gonna do haiku, and then we're going to do sonnet, and we're gonna go ahead and do opus. And I'm just going to do a very simple prompt here. Let's go for a five scene short story of an author stuck on her book. Yeah, because this is not, and sometimes this is how the experiments go. I know we're running a little bit over on time. Are you okay, Ryan? I'm good, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're changing the experiment, erase the other stuff. So just an outline short story of an author stuck on her book. There we go. Put this into here and we'll start with Opus this time since it's already scheduled there. A female. Oh, she gets the old leather bound journal. She opens the journal and it belongs to a long deceased author. She's obsessed with the journal. All right, so we have all of this information. So this is Opus 1. Now let's go ahead and change that to Sonnet. So I just click Sonnet. This is a feature of Workbench. You have to save these things or click Add to Conversation or you lose it. And actually that's a pain in the butt because like that what I wrote is gone forever unless I copy and save it. If you're using this in Rexy, no problems there. Go ahead, I've Ryan. Lost, I've lost some stuff already because it, it is slightly different functionality from Playground. And yeah. so that's, of course, what I'm used to. There is Sonnet, and now we'll do a haiku. I will also sometimes inadvertently re-hit that run button, which will overwrite mm -hmm. what was in that window. So, Yeah, if you work with Rexy, though, all of that just... It writes to your notion. Okay, so here we go. Everything is actually haiku wrote the longest. Excuse me. Both haiku and sonnet named her Emily. And I don't see that much. No name. Honestly. Opus. Huh? No name in Opus. Yeah, Opus was the worst. These are the, it's the exact same prompt with no other changes run off of the different outlines. And I cannot tell you a difference between Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus. If somebody had given me these three, I would have guessed Opus was Haiku, and I would have guessed Haiku was Opus. Yep. But the secret for all of these models is we have Haiku already loaded in there. So I'm gonna add that to the conversation. So I'm gonna click add that to the conversation. And then this is the thing that can really make a difference. Can you write a stronger outline that's more specific and better for a short story that emotionally impacts the reader? So that is going to be our, our second run. So I'm going to click that and click go. And I'm going to put right here. So that was prompt one was this, this information here. And then prompt two is this, can you write a stronger outline? So we're giving it a chance to improve. This is haiku, y'all. Oh my goodness. And we get a lot more information from haiku. Now, it's establishing the high stakes. So now we have the supportive partner, Alex, a personal tragedy. And you could change that prompt too. So there's a, a, a twist ending if you wanted it, instead of impacting the author or the reader emotionally, it could be a twist ending. Now, let me show you a feature of this because part of the problem is, is that I'm gonna grab the outline from Sonnet. And this is one of the features that's always available in a playground versus a chat interface. Does everyone see how we have write me an outline? 
And we know this, this message right here is from Haiku. I can edit this and put in Sonnet's answer. And this allows me to do the comparative analysis between the models. So this is Sonnet's answer. So Sonnet is improving Sonnet's work, not Haiku's work. And then I leave that prompt as is. I change my model to Sonnet. And now I click Run. Workbenches allow you to do a lot of experimentation with your prompting. 